We'll start with a simple one. Cook me some delicious pancakes. Pancakes, I can do that. I've made so many pancakes in my life. I know their recipe by heart. First, you need to mix flour with milk. Then break the egg into the resulting mixture. Zach, what are you waiting for? Repeat after me. How do you say you need to do this? I have a deep plate. The only thing left is pour flour there. And the more the better. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh yeah, it's not easy to cope with flour. Next come the eggs. You also need to be careful with them. And we must not forget about the milk. Grandma taught it that way. Whoa, Grandma, yes, you have a full-fledged doll ready. Yes, yes, there will be pancakes soon. Damn it, what have I done? Granny, it's all your fault. I was distracted by you and accidentally poured my doll. But never mind, I think after I shake it up, everything will be okay. Strange. Uh, the stupid mixer is just stuck. Come on, get out of there. Uh, where are the mixer nozzles? Oh no, how do I get them out? Ugh. Apparently they have settled in my dough forever. <laughs> yeah, Zach, you're a lousy cook. We'll have to cook the most delicious pancakes ourselves. I don't have any competitors anyway. Just look at this beauty. So beautiful. Of course, these pancakes need to be poured with maple syrup, so they will become even tastier. A piece of butter wouldn't hurt either. Granny turned out, of course, not bad, but too boring. Why not make pancakes also colorful? So it'll be more interesting to eat them. Wow, beauty. The dough is ready. Let's cook. My pancakes are in the form of famous characters. So they will be bright, tasty, and memorable. Such beauty will definitely not leave your head for a long time. So beautiful. Let's flip it. Just a little more on the other side. And ready. Well, everyone got such beautiful pancakes. What should I do? That's right. Why cook pancakes from dough? You can just take the finished one. For example, cut out circle of bread with the help of cups. To make them tastier, you need just sprinkles and whipped cream. And if you add a little bright sprinkles, my bread pancakes will become even tastier. Look, it's almost ready. The last gesture. Look at this beauty. Kate, it's time to pick a winner. Wow, I didn't expect such a variety of pancakes. Let's start with Zach. I hope this pancake won't disappoint me. Although they look quite strange. But sprinkles and cream are good. Well, let's move on. Who are these blue freaks? Original, but are they delicious? Ooh, I really like it. This time, they definitely tried for me. Well, the only one left is from Grandma. Grandma, don't let me down. Mmm, so gorgeous. Oh, a taste of my childhood. Grandma, you know best how to make delicious pancakes, so the victory in this round goes to you. Aw, uh, hooray, don't worry, someday you will be lucky too. Are you ready for the second round? Then make some delicious hot chocolate for me right now. We'll be done. Easy. While everyone is chatting, I, as the smartest, enjoy Nutella. Zach, aren't you ashamed of yourself? I need this Nutella to make hot chocolate for Kate. I plan to win this round, too. To do this, I need to stir the Nutella with milk. Then put this mixture on the fire. And of course, stir it well. Mmm, smells delicious. 
Oh yeah, the smell is amazing. It's time for me to start cooking. But the milk won't open. Ugh, I'll finish you off anyway. Oh no! I'm covered in milk myself. I definitely need to win so that sacrifices were not in vain. To do this, I use the favorite chocolates of all people on the planet. I will definitely not lose face with them. Watch and learn. Hot chocolate is the last century. Today, chocolate is served separately because it looks more beautiful this way. And it also is much tastier. I just know an excellent form from serving it. It just needs to be smeared in a special shape. This way, there are gonna be half spheres. And then I'll put them together to make a ball. I'll pour cocoa inside so it will taste even better. And some marshmallows too. And now, just close it. Voila! And I'm gonna put more chocolate on top. Just perfect. Now you can pour hot milk into a glass. It is enough to throw one ball into it as it immediately becomes chocolate. Oh, so difficult. My granddaughter loves homemade cocoa and hot chocolate. I like it too. What is this smell? Ah, oh, Zach, your hot chocolate is burning. Oh no, I'm gonna turn it off. Oh, why is chocolate so hard? Did I not cook anything? Oh no. Well, let's pretend that I planned it. Chocolate sculpture. Well, well, well. Zach, what did you do? It doesn't really look like cocoa or hot chocolate. Mm, big deal, it's just a bunch of chocolate bars. That won't do. Let's see what my beloved granny has prepared for me. Mmm, homemade cocoa. Yummy. Also with cookies. Mmm, so good. The only thing left is to try what a miracle chef Tina has prepared. The pitch, of course, is much more interesting than the rest. Whoa, I think I got it. Her hot chocolate is something incredible. Ooh, look how it melts. So magical. Is it really chocolate? Let's try. Mmm, it's just something incredible. The winner of this round is obvious. Tina, you're becoming one. Ugh, obvious. After all, I'm the only professional here. Now I want a cake. Big and delicious. I can cook cakes very well. <gasps> Easy. I can definitely handle it. It's good that grandma knows her granddaughter's taste. I'll be able to cook exactly the cake that Kate loves the most. And I will make it in the shape of a heart so that she also knows that I love her. Just like that. So cute. The layers need to be thoroughly smeared with cream so they won't stick together. The more you got the cream, the more delicious the cake will turn out. Therefore, you need to smear every millimeter of the cake with cream. And now, I'll just even the sides from the cake. Ready. Oh, so good. Now, there are no better decorations for a cake than fresh berries. You need to cut off the extra leaves from them and combine berries with the cake. Berries will give the cake sophistication and, of course, a pleasant taste. How do you like my creation? It's corny somehow. Now, I will show you how to cook a delicious and great original cake. First, the cakes should be divided into two parts, after which a piece should be cut out of a cake. Ready. After that, you just need to repeat after grandma, but not for long. After each layer is covered with cream, time to flip and design it. Perfect. The base of the future rainbow is ready. Then we just need to decorate it with the right colors. I'm sure Kate hasn't tried a rainbow cake yet. Well, almost everything is ready. The only thing left is to smooth the cream and add some details. 
perfect. And now we can just add some details. A rainbow with a face will be much more cute. And you can also finish off with drawing some clouds. Another one of my masterpieces are ready. Why bother so much? It's a cake. You'll have to eat it anyway. It's enough just to pile a lot of cream. Everyone loves it. Oh, it seems that Grandma and Tina cakes are clearly better than mine. But I'll fix it right now. To do this, I need to melt some chocolate. I hope I can do it quickly. Yeah, there it is. Oh, yum. So cool. And delicious. It's time to pour this chocolate on this cake. But you need to do this with a special mold. Yeah, don't forget about sprinkles. Look at that. Cool, right? And now... Whoa, so cool. Yeah, that's really good, Zach. Yeah, everyone did their best this time for sure. I don't even know where to start. Probably from Tina's cake. It's so cute. Delicious, but clearly missing something. Grandma, I hope I like your cake more. Mmm, yummy, but there's something missing here. Zach, maybe at least you made the perfect cake. Looks, of course, quite ordinary, but the appearance can be deceptive. Mmm, smells so good. Mmm, and this is exactly the case. I haven't tasted such a delicious cake before in a long time. Zach, congratulations, this time the victory is yours. Finally, I already thought I can't win. Okay, yes, easily. During my career, I have baked as many cakes as you will ever eat. First, you need to cut the cakes properly. More precisely, you need to make an even hole in them. Then, I'll just need to glue the resulting cakes with whipped cream. Just look at it. How delicious. And now, layer after layer. Inside, I'll hide a gift that Kate will definitely be absolutely delighted with. I think it will give me a victory. The main thing is to hide my surprise well. It is best to do this behind the layers of whipped cream. You need to remember to smooth out so the cake looks so smooth. Just look at it, what a beauty. The only thing left is to decorate the cake with M&M's candies. So it will become even more beautiful and of course tastier. My granddaughter won't buy such cheap tricks as a new smartphone and a cake. She just wants a beautiful and delicious cake for her birthday. That's what I'll do for her. First, you need to knead the dough. I think everyone knows this recipe. If not, then watch my hands carefully. Yeah, perfect. Then you need to add a little cocoa. Oh. So our future cake will be a pleasant chocolate flavor. Oh. And the color is chocolate too. Look, Zach, have you ever seen such chocolate dough? I haven't either. It's really cool. Now the cake needs to be baked. However, first you need to get rid of the dough on your hands. Grandma came up with a great idea. Kate really loves chocolate. Why don't I make her a cake out of all the chocolate bars she loves so much? It's kind of simple. Just put it all on the pan. It's kind of too easy. Yeah, too easy. Well, it's time for the oven. Hey, wait for me! Zach, this is the oven. We'll put our cakes inside. How does it work? I think I got it. Ah, go away. I'll do it myself. Look, you would have set the highest temperature. You don't want to ruin the oven with your clumsy gestures, do you? ta -da! The cakes are ready. Just look at how pretty it is. 
And what a fragrance. Kate will definitely not resist this. Whoa, I also got something very pretty. Huh, cool. But, however, I would leave it in the oven for a while longer. Yeah, to make the cake cook faster, I will still increase the degrees. Grandma is no longer around anyway. My cake is ready. I hope my granddaughter will be happy with such a gift from me. It turned out to be a cake cupcake. Of course, first we must pour some water. Take some milk, huh? Put it in the glass. And wait until it melts. Now, I'll just open the package and pour the melted chocolate on my cake. And of course, don't forget about delicious sprinkles. Yeah, right there, faster, come on! Oh, I completely forgot about the cake! I hope it's all right. Oh, what a horror. I think I went a little overboard after all. Uh, I hope I come up with something after all. Damn. Everyone has such beautiful cakes, but I only have this, oh, terrible thing. That's right. I just had a great idea. It is necessary to embellish the cake, and its disadvantages will not be obvious. Oh, it's pointless, I lost. Don't cry. Kate, it's time to choose whose cake is better. Wow, of course you all tried very hard, except for Zach. What is this overcooked piece of chocolate? Is that chocolate crust? Did he cook it on bonfire? Uh, fine, I'll try it. <gasps> Ew! Terrible! Let's move on. Grandma, your cupcake looks very beautiful. Let's see, is it as delicious as usual? Or even better? Mmm, this is the taste. I love your cupcakes, Grandma. The only thing left is to find out what Chef Tina has prepared. Surely her cake is also very nice. Oh yeah, and really, it's very tasty. Wait, what's inside? Interesting. Wow, surprise! Wow! It's a brand new iPhone! Tina, I couldn't even dream of this. Imagine now what cool pictures I can take. And what other functions are there. Oh, for sure, there are a whole bunch of cool games there. Tina, this is really cool. Thank you so much. Of course, after the work you've done, you're the one who wins. I knew I would win. My talent is evitable. Prepare a sandwich for me this time. I want to have lunch. Hooray, I can do that. Easy as pie. Easy. Kate, do you remember how many of these sandwiches I made for you before? You even took them to school. Of course, among all the sandwiches, you will choose the ones your beloved grandma cooked. According to tradition, I will put bread in the toaster. After that, it will be not hot or much more delicious. Zach, can you please help me open it? No problem. Whoa, it's peanut butter. It's so delicious. Can I try? Mmm, so good. Zach, what are you doing? It's for my sandwich. Ah, oh, fine. I won't be able to take peanut butter from you. I'll have to cook something more useful for Kate. For example, why not make a vegetable sandwich? I think she will really like this one. It will contain cucumbers, tomatoes, lettuce. In general, all the most healthy things. Yeah, but not tasty at all. Kate, don't worry. This time, I'll make you the most delicious sandwich. By the way, it's not very difficult to do it. First, you need to grate some cheese. Show me a person who doesn't like cheese, right? There are simply no such people. So this is a universal way to treat anyone. Now a little magic. Cheese needs to be tinted with food paint. It will be very beautiful. But that's not all. Now we have to paint each cheese plate in different colors. Next, you need to cut out hearts from pieces of bread. This way, pieces will be not only delicious, but also cute and beautiful. Put the cheese on the bread in a rainbow order. Now it's time to bake these sandwiches. Wow, 
Even I would try this. Of course, because I'm a master of my craft. The resulting cards are laid on a cabbage leaf. Everything is ready. I'm almost done, too. Okay, I agree with Tina. Healthy sandwiches aren't very tasty, so I'll have to add some ham. And I'll also allow myself to add a little ketchup. That's better. So good. Oh, right! Sandwiches! Everyone has already prepared everything. And I just got carried away with this peanut butter. Ugh, oh, the one who has to save me. This paste is just so delicious that combining it with bread resulting sandwich will be not equal. But I'll add some banana too. That's right. So more appetizing Christ appears in the bread. I'll just carterize it a little. With iron? Why not? Granny, look what I've come up with. Interesting, but where does the burnt stink come from? Zach, it's all your iron! Oh no! How sloppy I am! I burnt my dish again! Ugh. Zach, you need to pay attention. I still have a chance. I don't even know where to start. Everything looks so delicious. Zach, did you overdo it on fire again? What have you prepared for me? It's just impossible to eat. Disgusting. I could have tried a little longer. No, this abdomination is no good. Let's see how grandma surprises me. That's what I get. This is a sandwich. The most delicious sandwich I've ever tasted. I just need to try Tina's sandwich now. Whoa, so bright. And all the colors of rainbow. Inside. Whoa, cool. It's also incredibly delicious. I'm absolutely thrilled. But still, Grandma's sandwich seems to be more appetizing. I'm sorry, Tina. Hooray, finally I want to. Make a chocolate bear this time. I want a delicious teddy bear. Something new. I hope I can handle it. And I already have an idea. I'm going to need Oreo cookies to make it happen. First, you need to get rid of the cream between the cookies. Mmm, how delicious it is after all. Now you need to crumble the cookies. The main thing is not to eat this yummy ahead of time. Next, I will need Nutella. Mmm, such a fragrance. I need to try it first. I need to mix it thoroughly with Oreo crumbs and get a sticky mass. Nutella? Hmm, it's a good idea. I will add some Nutella to my dough too, so it'll become more chocolate and therefore more delicious. Now I get to beat this dough well with the mixer. Oh, so long. Let's try mixer. That's better. Yeah, Grandma, you cooked the dough for a very long time. Mine is already ready. I pour some natural cocoa into it. I also want to make the dough chocolate. After all, the bear should be brown. Ooh, well, my chocolate mess of this Oreos and Nutella is ready. It was necessary to make teddy bear out of it. <laughs> Zach, you don't know how to sculpt at all. How to cook, too. Watch and learn. I have the pancake batter almost ready. It needs to be poured into a bottle so that the later it will be easier to squeeze it into a frying pan. Just look at how beautiful it turned out. These are really edible bears. Kate will be absolutely thrilled. I could also stick candy eyes on a bear. They can be tastier than your berries. It's all nonsense. The bear must be big. It needs to be baked. It is the best to do it with a burner. Whoa, what's the flame? I like it. 
Ooh, let's see. Oh, I wanted to make cookies, but I completely forgot that the dough swells. What have I done? Well, bad luck. How clumsy I am, how could I forget? Whoa, your bears are so cute. Except for that, Tina. It's kind of creepy. I hope it's at least delicious. Ugh, a nightmare. Is it even possible to crack it? How does it even exist? Apparently nothing. Well, let's see what grandma has prepared for me. These are teddy bear pancakes. How lovely. Yeah, they're wonderful. Mmm, good. Now let's see what Zach came up with. Oh, it's very cool. I didn't expect such a chocolate bear. Zach, congratulations, you're an obvious victory. Finally, how long have I been waiting for this? Hooray, I won, I won, I won! I'm happy for him. Oh, where are we? Hi, Grandma. Hey, everyone. I wonder what Dish Ben made for the first challenge. Wow, a watermelon. But how can it be interesting to cook it? Well, Emma, what ideas do you have? Surely you can come up with something different. Hey, be careful! Yeah, it seems now Emma has a lot less options for cooking a watermelon. But you can still come up with something, right? Hmm, I think I have an idea. Cool tools, but how will they help you? No, it's definitely not gonna work. Hmm, and that too. No, it's not gonna work. A bucket? I'm afraid to ask, but what do you need it for? Ah, uh, this watermelon has already collected so much dust. It's definitely not a good option for food. Emma, you're going to throw this away, right? Oh no. She wants to serve such a dish to Ben. What a horror. Yeah, Grandma is disappointed. It's time to show Emma what a beautiful watermelon serving is. Let's go. Great. Let's see what's inside. Wow, the watermelon was cleaned just perfectly. Now we take a special knife to cut it beautifully. Wow. It remains to put these perfect pieces on a plate. That's it. Hmm, it seems there's one extra piece left. Why not eat it? Well, it's the turn of our chef, Betty. Look carefully because a real master is working. Wow, what an unusual shape. This is a real work of art. Now Betty cuts a little more from the edge. Now like this. Mm, something's missing. Wait, Betty's doing miracles. And look at this. It's incredible. It's just perfection. Bravo, Betty. All three dishes are ready, which means that's time to make a choice. Wow, how cool everything looks! Let's start with this dish! Mmm, what a juicy piece! Watermelon without peel is super! Definitely like it! So what is this? Um, is this a joke? There's some dirt on a watermelon! Uh, disgusting! Wow, but this is already interesting! Let's try it! I wonder if Ben will like Betty's dish. <laughs> it seems one piece was not enough for him. This is already a good sign. It seems the choice is between Grandma's dish and Betty's. Of course, our chef is winning. Congratulations to Betty. A worthy and most importantly deserved victory. What can I say? A master. A new challenge. And this is… An egg with a surprise? Wow. And how can it be cooked? I have no clue, bud. I'll try. Hmm, what can be easier? I need this and that, um, and this. And how do I cook it? Um, we can try it that way and this way. Oh, no! Oh, it looks like grandma's egg came out of the shell. And what should she do now? Hmm, of course. We pour out the remains of the egg, leave the shell, it'll be useful to us. Now a little gelatin and some water. We throw a piece of kiwi there and mix it. Then we need to do the same thing but with a different color. 
Wow, there are so many different beautiful colors. Now we take the resulting liquid and the syringe like this. Great. And now the shell will come in handy. We pour liquids of different colors into it. Super. But Betty doesn't seem to be impressed. I'm gonna show you what a real egg is with a surprise. To begin with, melt the white chocolate. It turned out to be a perfect chocolate cream. We pour it into three different containers. Now we'll add a little color. Perfect. One. Two. Three. Now we need a special egg form. We pour our miracle cream there. Shake it a little. Now it remains to cool it off. Let's open it. Oh yeah, that's what we need. Just perfect. I'll add some whipped cream and filling inside our shell. Closing it. And voila! The world's best surprise eggs are ready. Hmm, whatever. Yeah. It's time to peel the shell and look at my result. Yes, I think Ben will like my dessert more. Just look at this beauty. Emma, what, what are you doing? Um, nothing. Emma, you really need to figure out what to do. There's not much time left. And it seems she has an idea. Maybe it's that surprise that will be in the egg or in a balloon. Does anyone understand what she's up to? What? Nutella? Why is Emma covering this ball with Nutella? So many questions. Only one thing is clear for sure. With Nutella, even a balloon looks delicious. Still, it's interesting to know what it all means. Now the final touch. Sweet sprinkles. But it's still not edible. Well, time is up. Time for Ben to make a choice. One, two, three, and… I'll start with this. Whoa. So many colors! Is that jelly? I don't like jelly, but in general it's not bad. What do we have here? Wow! How much whipped cream! I love it! And chocolate? It just melts in your mouth! Just super! What a huge dessert! Wow! Emma, was it really all a prank? Well, at least the surprise turned out to be real. Although, something tells me that it will not be enough to win. Who's going to win, Ben? Of course, of course it's Betty's dish. Another confident victory. Bravo! What a Oasis in the third round. A donut? Great! I hope our participants have enough experience in cooking donuts. And they'll be able to impress us with their culinary skills. While well, Betty confidently begins to prepare the dough. Of course, nothing is easier for a professional like her. Now she's whipping it up. What a slay of hand. The dough is almost ready. The matter remains for a small one. We cut a large piece of dough into several small ones. Wait, why is Betty doing this? Is she going to cook a lot of donuts? Hmm, now she's adding dye to a piece of dough. How beautiful. And a little piece. Now we need to roll it out. We roll it out properly with a rolling pin, like this. Hmm, it seems now everything has become clear. We also roll out other pieces painted in different colors. Put the pieces on top of each other. And now we turn it all into one big rainbow piece of dough. Then we twist it like this. Betty, how beautiful! Now we need to bake it. Oh, what a fresh apple! I'll need it. Hey! We have a thief in the kitchen. <laughs> Emma, you better cook. Grandma, be careful. Emma's going to eat all your ingredients. Oh, it seems our thief has been discovered. What are we going to do with her, Grandma? I'll have to think about it. Oh, no better way to teach a bully than a lesson of all prank. Well, hold on, Emma. Now instead of the sweetness of an apple, the bitterness of a fresh onion awaits you. That's disgusting! Maybe this prank will bring Emma to her sense a little. Hey, wake up, Emma! It's high time for you to start cooking. Um, what are you… 
an interesting way to give a donut the necessary shape. The main thing is that it worked. And whipped cream. Not bad. A little candy on top for extra flavor. Yeah, unfortunately, only a little. Well, that's fine. It'll do. Now Emma can safely go back to her phone. And how's grandma's dish? Wow. Grandma puts a piece of apple on a stick. Dips the apple into the dough. And now she's sanding it into boiling oil. Just a couple of minutes and… Wow! How delicious it looks! We pour all this beauty with chocolate syrup. Our chef has almost everything ready. What a big and beautiful donut! Betty cuts it in half. It looks like she's going to add the feeling. Oh, so much cream! A little sprinkles. Perfect. Now we cover it all from above. Ready. Wow. Emma, actually we're starting. Oh, yeah, bon appetit. Oh, when in the third round? Hmm, it seems Ben wants to start with Betty's donut. Wow, it's so big. There's so much cream in it. Looks like it's too big and there's too much cream in it. Uh, it fell apart! Okay. Now it's Emma's turn. I must say it looks good. Let's taste it. Not bad. And finally, Grandma's donut. Wow! Well, Ben, what do you say? It's good! Yeah, he definitely liked it. And we have decided on the winner. Congratulations to grandma. This is a well-deserved victory. Yes, yes, yes! Oh, um, thank you, grandson. Surprise me. Well, what ingredients do we need? What do we cook? Here, I'll show you. Today I want a big, beautiful cake. Make me happy. I'm waiting. A cake! That's easy. Did you say cake? Well, then I'll need flour. I'll put it in this deep bowl. Then I'll add some milk. I've got this cake recipe in my head. I remember all the ingredients perfectly. Now I whisk it all together with a little bit of love. I'll just use my hands. All right, I've made the perfect dough. What a waste of time. I've got a way simpler option. I bought these pre-baked layers. This is gonna save me a lot of time. Oh my gosh, I can't watch this. My cake's gonna be the best because I'm a professional. Add a little bit of coloring to the dough. It's gonna look super bright. I'm sure this will turn out nice. This is how you do it. I'm gonna do what I want. So I'm gonna add some peanut butter. Even more. I love peanut butter so much. It's so delicious. Now time for the next layer. Jess is gonna get some finger licking good. I'd like to eat this myself. Mmm, this is really delicious. That's enough. You're making that cake for your sister. I'm gonna add some strawberry jam. Which I made myself. She's definitely gonna love it. Just gotta open the jar. It smells amazing. I'm gonna add the whole jar. I think this will be my best pie yet. Now let's add some stripes on top. Now we're gonna wash it brown right before our eyes. Wow, that's so huge! One final touch. Now we're just gonna apply the frosting. I've got a huge bag of frosting for every layer. My cake turned out so bright and beautiful. All right, next step, let's smooth it out. It's important that the cake looks as beautiful as possible. I think it's ready. One last decoration. I want to make something that's going to match the cake itself. It's going to look just as bright and colorful as the cake is. Everything's ready. The perfect rainbow. I'm going to put it on the very top. Perfect. Now let's add some chocolate on the sides. I'll put some stars here, too. This looks so nice. Let's add some clouds to the rainbow. My cake is perfect. Hey, where'd grandma go? What? Where? Who? Ah, my pie. That's right. Smells so good. 
This pie turned out wonderful. I want that pie too. Mine looks so bad. Even grandma's is better than mine. I have an idea. Let's add some colored candies. Now this turned out way more beautiful. This is even better than I thought. Good for you, Kate. You guys are no match for me. Whoa, not bad. This is so cute. Let's see if it's delicious. I'm gonna start with this. What a beautiful piece. I want to eat it really fast. I wonder what it tastes like. Whoa, super sugary. It melts in my mouth. Amazing. I want to eat every last crumb. I want to try this cloud. This is really delicious. All right, time for the next cake. Wow, this looks so cute. Let's try a piece. So sweet and juicy. The berries taste amazing. But this… Well, it's got candy on top. So that tastes good. Let's try all of it. This is really sticky in my mouth. I'm gonna need a drink. That's better. I don't want any more of that. I'll put it back. All right, I need to choose. Well, obviously the rainbow cake is the most delicious. Who's Mine? Oh. Oh, please, I know. Well, next time the victory will be mine. What do we have this time? Vegetables? Here, I'll show you. I want a burger. A delicious burger. That's easy. What? A burger? Those are so unhealthy. I don't want my granddaughter eating fast food. This is going straight in the trash. I'm gonna cook something good with just vegetables. An avocado is much healthier than a bun. Now I'm gonna make something delicious. This'll be finger licking good. Especially because it's so simple. All right, I got rid of the pit. Now let's add some vitamins. Tomatoes. I love tomatoes. They're so healthy. Definitely gonna add those. And a cucumber as well. And how about some spicy chilies? While I'm cooking, I'll have a little snack myself. Very tasty. Not spicy at all. We'll have to put on some lettuce. Now we just need to put our healthy burger together. That looks disgusting. Mine's definitely gonna taste much better. All right, let's put the meat on the bun, then add some veggies. Like this cucumber. Yeah. What about this onion? Nah, we don't need that. Tomato. First, I need to get rid of the tomatoey parts of the tomato. Otherwise, it won't taste good. Ugh, this is harder than I thought. Really gotta get that core out. Okay, looks good. Now let's add some cheese on top. Uh-oh, I think there's something wrong. It's too big, come on. All right, what if I put it on like this? That looks awful. I have an idea. I can just cheat. Hi, can I get a burger delivered here? Really fast? Oh my gosh, that was fast. So where's the burger? Excellent. Now let's just get rid of the stuff we don't need. Perfect. Put it on the plate and I'm all done. Not bad, but I can still do better. So where's my meat? Ah, perfectly fried. You can smell the smell of that fire. Juicy and flavorful. Everything's ready. Let's put it on the plate. Check out how delicious they are. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of the grill. 
Now we're moving on to the vegetables. Check this out. I have a professional way of cutting them. You throw them up in the air and slice them right in the air. Everything was perfectly diced. Oh, the perfect bun. Let's put this burger together. I put on the juicy salad and then the juicy meat and cheese and then some more vegetables. Add a couple more layers and voila, the final touch, a flag on top. Now it's perfect. This all looks so delicious. Except for this one. What is this supposed to be? It doesn't even look like a burger. All right, I'll have to try it. How do I bite this? That was gross. And spicy, ugh. This one looks great. I wanna try it now. Let's get rid of the flag. Come on, get in my mouth. Hey, why'd it fall apart? Well, I'm not eating that then. This one's kind of cute. Let's try it. Wow, this is delicious. This is a really tasty burger. I think this is the winner. Wow, I won! That's not fair. And why didn't I win? What can I cook for you? I want a chicken leg. Nothing complicated. We'll cook you anything you want. What is it made of? Chicken, silly. I know a wonderful recipe for chicken. Add some spices. Mmm, it's gonna be a very tasty dish. Some vegetables. I'll prepare them. The secret of this dish is that the more vegetables you add, the tastier it will turn out. You need to wash everything thoroughly, cut it into large pieces after all. A big piece in the mouth is happy mouth. Just cut some potatoes too. And then proceed to stuffing it. Here is the most important part. I will put all the vegetables in the chicken and they will be back right inside of it. Vegetables can be alternated. I will also put potatoes and carrots in the baking dish. Let them cook separately from the meat. Ah, oh, what a beauty. Now I'll put everything in a well-heated oven. Hmm, I don't like this chicken, but the chicken from KFC is a completely different matter. I'll cook especially spicy with the addition of Tabasco pepper and breadcrumbs from Cheetos. Hmm, this jar is too small. And now I'm going to roll a chicken leg in breadcrumbs. The main thing is to shake the pack. That's it. Then you can put the chicken on the baking sheet with parchment to bake it in the oven. Uh, what was that? What's happening? Before cooking the chicken, we must thoroughly beat it off. Beat with all your might and then it will become all juicy and soft. Now you can cook it. Add oil to the frying pan and fry the fillets on the all sides until they're cooked. Oh, what a delicious chicken I will make. It's ready. Now to pour some oil on it. Just like that. Before serving, I'll smear the chicken with butter. <gasps> Smells so good. Oh, don't you dare. This is for my granddaughter. Take care of your chicken. That's what I'll do. It's time to put the legs in the oven. How beautiful they turned out. Oh no. Ah! Then added too much of the world's hottest Tabasco pepper. <gasps> I can't. Oh, my legs are fried. Now they can be served. I'll put them in a KFC bucket. So just like that in a cafe. Hmm. And I have to get ready. Only a couple of touches to a beautiful dish are missing. Here, now the chicken looks exquisite. Bon appétit. Bah, bah, bah. Try, granddaughter. Hmm, what different dishes turned out here? And which one should I start with? I think I'll try with chicken filet. Hmm, do you need to eat some sauce? Hmm, huh, it smells good. Hmm, what I have to say, it's delicious. I like it. Uh, let's try this one. Hmm, whoa, they look like very much like KFC. Mm. So spicy, what should I do? It's terrible. We need something to eat this taste off. Ah, another chicken. Mm, it helped. Mm, so juicy. Yes, this is the best chicken. I have chosen the winner. Yes, Grandma. You're the best. 
Ah, oh, I have to feed my granddaughter properly, am I right? I want ice cream! And I have to have different tastes in it. Uh, what? Ice cream? And how to cook ice cream? I'll look it up in Google. <sighs> my recipe book. Oh, amateurs. Ice cream is made of from cream. So to get different flavors, you just need to pour cream into different bowls. The first bowl will taste like strawberries. I'll add the berry to the cream and mix everything with a blender. The blender will grind the strawberries with the cream to a thick foam. This bowl will be green. I'll make the addition of kiwi. The technology is the same. And now I'll add blueberries to make the bowl turn blue. Oh, how beautiful! It looks like I don't have the recipe, but Grandma knows everything. Hmm. Think, curly gray-headed girl. Oh, I know. I'll make it with ice molds. I'll put a berry in each one of them and pour milk. It should cover the berries. I'll insert a popsicle stick into each sector. So it'll be a very convenient to pull the ice cream out of the mold. Hmm. That's it. The only thing left is to put the ice cream in the freezer for a long time. More precisely, until the milk freezes. It'll have to wait, but it's worth it. Oh, where is it? Ooh, I finally found it. A convenient and very simple recipe from TikTok. Yeah. I even have everything I need to make an ice cream. And by the way, yeah. I figured out how to make it even tastier than this recipe. I'll add some M&Ms, milk. And now I'm going to close it tightly. I'll take another bag and add ice cubes to it. I'll put the finished ice cream mixture inside and pour more cubes on top. And now, you need to close the package and shake it well. It even sounds like music. What are those sounds? This is me checking out recipe from TikTok. Come with me. Uh, what's the matter with them? Okay, let them have fun. Now, I need to grind a piece of dry ice. It's steaming so much, it's crazy. Ooh, uh, what's happening? Why did it get so cold in here? It's all Betty with her hot cuisine recipes. Correctly noted, Ben. I cook only according to recipes of hot cuisine. Ah, uh, notice my ice cream looks exactly as Paige depicted it. Isn't that a sign of mastery? And now it remains to decorate the balls before serving with strawberries, multicolored sprinkles, and trinkles of chocolate sauce. See? That's beautiful. And it's ready. <laughs> and Grandma has everything ready, too. Yes, this is not a haughty cuisine dish, but just look at these cute sweet babies. Ooh, I wonder if it worked. Hooray, it worked! Look at that. Mm, how beautiful. What is this? Looks like I have to eat it from the back. Well, it doesn't look well, but it's quite good. What a strange ice cream. This is the first time I've seen this. Hmm, it's just ice with strawberries. Ah, oh, not sweet at all. Ooh, I finally got to you. Incredible, beautiful ice cream. Mmm, the most delicious, beautiful, just like I dreamed of. Careful, Paige. If you eat too much ice cream at once, you can freeze. But it looks like she won't be listening to me, right? Ah, the most delicious. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? Yes, my ice cream is the most delicious. Victory is mine. So the heroes froze in anticipation of a new task. And this time Paige wants to eat… It'll be mac and cheese. And add more cheese. I love it very much. No problem, Paige. I'll do it in a way you like it. Except no one serves mac and cheese in restaurants. We're serving pasta. And I will cook it from Italian pasta of hard varieties. I timed it to cook the al dente pasta. Just like this. A little more time left. Ah, watch your expressions, young lady. What are you doing? Pasta should not be broken into pieces. Uh, how else will I cook it? It doesn't fit into a pot. Barely managed. Oh, I almost forgot to time it. 
No, it's just meat. Uh, should I do something? I don't know how to cook them. Oh, it's good they write recipes on the pack. So it has to saucepan, pour it on the pack, and it'll be ready. Hmm, everything seems to be clear. Here is a saucepan, you need to pour pasta into it. Whoa, there are so many of them in a pack. Oh, here, I poured it. Oh, it was an accident. And now, you need to stir the pasta and get it thick. Done! It remains to drain the water and put the pasta on the plate. I'll make them to wipe away excess moisture. Ah, what is that sound? Oh, the pasta is cooked, that's it. Grandma puts down her kneading and proceeds to... <gasps> what do you say, Betty? Serving a dish. Yes, Grandma will need a good piece of cheese for her. Paige and I just love mac and cheese with Cheetos. This is our favorite recipe. For it, I will make a small crumb of Cheetos and pour it directly into the finished pasta. Mmm, it smells so good. Uh, did you fall asleep while you were grating cheese, Grandma? Uh, oh, I think… yes. Oh, no. Well, Paige asked me to add more cheese to it, so I think she'll like it. My darling, my treasure. French blue cheese with mold. Ooh, so exquisite. Oh, what stinks so bad? A disgusting smell. You don't just understand anything. This is an exquisite delicacy that is eaten in high society. It will perfectly complement the taste of pasta. Uh, and not only taste, but also give them a special shade. And the dish will be complemented by fresh shrimps brought from the southern seas washing the shores of Italy. Big deal. There is nothing tastier than simple macaroni and cheese, especially when the macaroni itself is not visible because of the cheese. I made mac and cheese with Cheetos. Mmm, delicious. Paige would rather try these than yours. And watch Paige likes, we'll find out right now. Wow, what different dishes turned out. Hmm, where should I start? Let's do this one. Hmm. Uh, what? Grandma, I think you left something on my plate. Uh, What's that? Oh, Grandma! Hmm, how strange it smells from this pasta. Ew, I wonder what they are. Why are they green? Funny, I haven't tried them yet. I'll try a little. Oh, oh no, what a mess! You decided to poison me or something? This is the most tasteless pasta I've ever tasted. I hope these won't be so terrible. Although you can't tell by the look of them. So delicious! Yes, I choose this pasta as the winner. Hooray! Yes, Paige, I knew you'd like it. I won! Hooray, hooray! So, first of all, I want a cake like this. As in this picture. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, cake, I'm a master at this. Uh, oh, what? Ah, cake. I'll make it now, granddaughter. All you need is a little flour, a couple of eggs. Well, we're without milk, right? Now, as I need the door. Oh, what a beauty. Isn't it, Maggie? Why the daw if there are already ready-made cakes? Look how perfect they are. Well, it's not homemade. Store-bought? What's going on? Okay, uh, whatever you want. In the meantime, my professional mixer will beat the daw for me. Yeah, that's what you need. Divide it into five equal parts. And now we need to add colors. I'll put on gloves and knead the doll well. Oh yeah, now every cake will be unique. Hmm, big deal, my cake will also be unique. Especially with peanut butter. We'll spread it on the first layer. Then on the second one too. Just like this. Mmm, you can't even taste it. 
so beautiful and so delicious. But now the third one. Mm, I want some more. What a fragrance. Oh, so good. Maggie, what are you doing? Don't do that. Better look at what homemade jam I have. I think I'll pour the whole jar into my pie. Ah, oh, what beauty. And here is my branded mesh doll. Look at that. Wonderful. And what a fragrance. It's time for you to go to the oven. That's it. Just for a while, Grandma takes a nap. And here are my layers ready. It's time to collect the cake. I will use each layer with my signature colored cream. And the colors will match the colors of the layers. Decorate with the cream outside. And now you need to level it with a special spatula. Oh yeah, this cake will be perfect. But that's not all. Now I'm going to make a sweet rainbow. I'll put it on the cake. And see the rainbow. And you can see the unicorn as well. On the sides, I will have clouds and hearts. It seems I have surprised myself. This is perfection. Uh, uh, it's my watch. Uh, it's time to get the pie. Mmm, what a fragrance. It's time to treat Sophie with it. Move over, guys. Grandma's here. Oh, no! They have such beautiful cakes, but mine is absolutely terrible. I've got an idea. I'll decorate it with candy M&Ms. Here, Sophie. Try it soon. Wow, how many cakes? Where to start? One, two, three, yeah, this one. Let's try. Uh, it's kind of dry. You can't do without Coke here. Oh, sorry, Maggie. Wow, that's Grandma's strawberry pie. Mmm, how it smells. And it's so delicious. Grandma, I adore you. Wow, what a beauty this is. I urgently want a piece. Whoa! Wow. It's in rainbow colors even inside. And so tasty. And so tender. And this unicorn. Wow, chef. You've won. He's incomparable. Wow. Oh yeah, I knew my business. Well, well. And now I want popcorn. Like in a movie theater. What's that? A popcorn? <laughs> oh, well, I can do that. Here are the cups. Well, that's not it, Grandma. Special grains are needed here, and I have them. I'll prepare the foil vases, and now I will elegantly pour the grains right into them. And of course, oil. Mmm, the freshest. I'll pour the grains, just like that. Not going anywhere with that dyes, right? They will give popcorn some uniqueness. This one's here and this one's here. Let's make a rainbow out of them. It's burner time! Beware of the grains! It's time for you to explode. Oh, that's enough. Let's see what happened. Oh, yeah, red popcorn. What do you say, Grandma? How do you like the colors? Ah, oh, these chefs. Everything will be natural from me. Just get the grains within my new flinging gadget. That's it, the bare cup. Now add a little butter to the pan. Although you can do more. Now smear it and send the corn there. And of course, sugar. My Sophie loves sweets very much. Oh. Just like that with a lid, and I'll wait. Uh oh, it seems the process has started. Cranes explode right in the frying pan. 
Mmm, ready. What a fragrance. It's time to use the secret ingredient. I'll melt marshmallows in the frying pan until they turn into paste. And now I'll put popcorn there. I mix everything thoroughly. I got a sticky ball of popcorn. Or rather, as many as five balls of different colors. Ah, uh, it's time to pour the popcorn into the bowl. Well, what a beauty. What have you got there, Sam? <laughs> Isn't that popcorn? Hey, get it yourself. Come on. Well, just like children, you guys. It's good that I have popcorn that just needs to be heated. Look at that, on the frying pan, and it's ready. Oh yeah, no need to strain. Wait a second, what is the smell? What have you got there? What? The smell? Uh-oh, it looks like it's going to explode. Get down! Ah, uh, Maggie, what have you done? Uh, I didn't mean to. It was popcorn. I need to clean it as soon as possible. Has anything survived? Just one? Oops. Sorry, Sophie. I think you're in a diet today. Whoa, so much popcorn. And what is that smell? Oh, ew, what is it? But it burned down. Ew. And here's the real popcorn. Let's try it. Mmm, how sweet. You know everything about me, Grandma. Whoa, what is this? And it stretches. It looks cool. Mmm, and how delicious it is. Just incredible. This popcorn definitely deserved to win. Huh, one more point. I'm the best. And the next dish is pancakes. Can you handle it? What's that? Pancakes? How do I cook them? Uh-oh. It's time to add eggs to the milk. I'll figure it out myself. Well, as you know, and I'll add them. And of course, a little flour. Now I will beat the doll with my professional mixer. I think this round will also be for me. <laughs> It's too early for you to be happy about this. My whisk will do no works. I'm able to stir the dough myself. Yeah, we need to add milk. What is there? Flour, exactly. And eggs. Well, you can do it with a shell, right? Now we need to mix everything up. It seems nothing is complicated. There's some strange dough here. Maybe I'll do it more? So it's time to pour the dough into the pan. That's it. And now we need chocolate paste. I'll spread it on the pancake and I'll cover it with another one on top. Ah, look how beautiful they are. What? What is he doing? And I'll add green here. That's all. The complete set. Wow. Let's shake it a little. Like this and like this. Oh, yeah. Ugh, oh, see how I can do it. Granny can do a lot of things. But I can draw with my color test. Now, I will make not just a pancake, but a work of art. And now the final touch and Sophie's portrait is ready. What? They have everything ready? And I have this strange dough. Okay, just pour it into the pan. Come with me. Well, Sophie, are you hungry already? Moreover, oh, stop it. Oh, uh, you stop it. Ah, uh, haha, stop you both. Oh no, what is that smell? My pancake is on fire. We urgently need to turn it over. You're going to get it now. What the smell? Oh, Maggie, what have you done again? Oops. 
I think my pancake is ready. Whoa, how you tried so well! And what a smell! Wait a minute, has something burned down again? It's Maggie's pancake, of course. It's even scary to look at it. Now it's time for this pancake. Is it my portrait? Wow, so amazing! And so delicious! Wait a second. These are grandma's pancakes. Oh yes, there's chocolate inside! Just like I love it. They are so delicious and just can't tear yourself away. Grandma, you're simply incomparable here. This is the best dish. Aw, oh, thank you, Sophie. I wish I could eat something delicious right now. Some pasta would be the perfect snack for me. That's my signature dish. That'll be easy. Pasta? I have no idea how to make that. First, you need to cook the spaghetti. Okay, I'll just repeat after everyone else. Then something will work out. Probably won't need this rope. I'll just put everything in the boiling water. Dang it, doesn't fit in the pot. Gonna have to squish it in. Just watch Granny Teddy. She knows how to cook. We put the spaghetti in the water and wait for it to warm up. And voila! Everything fits in the pan and it turned out just perfect. Are you serious? That doesn't look like pasta at all. Professionals cook differently. You've got a lot to learn from me. Kate, you can't surprise us with your tricks. We'll see about that later. First, you need to make the pasta yourself from scratch. For that, I'll need some eggs and flour. Now we mix everything together. I love this, it's so relaxing. Okay, the dough is ready. Time to roll it out. I have to put a little effort into it, but I don't mind. Nothing I can't handle. My pasta's ready, time to boil it. Most of the work's already been done. Now I'm gonna take care of the seafood. Jess is gonna love this pasta. Bellissimo! The most delicious thing about pasta is the cheese. What are you doing, Ted? I'm trying to get my macaroni out. It's stuck. Dang it, that didn't work. Time to give up and try something else. I came up with an idea. I can use some gum. I'm gonna make some sweet pasta and decorate it with chocolate sauce. Super. I wouldn't mind eating this myself. Well, well, let's see what we've got here. Oh, shrimp. I'd like to try that, it looks delicious. And it smells good. It's pretty good, but nothing special. Ooh, there's a lot of cheese here, I like that. And the pasta's all stuck together. Although, that's a pretty good thing. Now I can take a big bite at once. Whoa, this is chewing gum, cool. This tastes so good. I think the winner's pretty obvious. It's this sweet pasta dish. I did it! I'm starting to get good at this. Be patient, Ted. The next dish is already on the picture. A hot dog? That's easy. Hey, what are you doing? Do you really need to fry the sausages? Thought you could just eat them. Ted, you're so silly. You can't eat raw sausages. Looks like I gotta play by some new rules. I'll take this oil if you don't mind. Hey, what's this thing here? Don't need that. I'll just pour it in the pan and I'm done. And I'll put it on high. This isn't gonna end well. All right, it's all warmed up, time to fry. Don't do that, Teddy. Hey, what's this? Oh, why didn't you tell me earlier? Take that. That's it, I gotta get rid of this frying pan. It's trying to kill me. Okay, everything's fine now. Next time, ask before doing something like that. 
What's that smell? Ooh, perfectly roasted. Time to send this sausage straight to a bun. And we'll add a little bit of mustard and we'll be done. Ooh, it's very spicy. Just the thing. It looks perfect. Ted, what's going on? Well, I tried roasting this sausage with a gas burner. I did really good, didn't I? What amateurs. Who let you guys into a kitchen? I don't even know. Watch and learn. First, I'm gonna make the dough. This is simple enough. Eggs, milk, and flour. Now I'll mix it all together. Super, just what I needed. Now I'll take the sausage with some cheese. And I'll put them on the skewers. Perfect. I already like this. And in a small saucepan, I'll pour some oil for frying. Now I'm gonna fry my hot dog. Just a little bit left. Time to dip the sausage in and roll it around in some chips. That'll make it extra crispy. Now I'll dip it in the oil and wait for it to fry. Ready? Watch and be jealous. Finally, I add some sauces. Ketchup and mustard. Kate, that looks wonderful. Hey, I'm not done yet. I need some more sauces. Now this is turning out great. Sorry, but I don't think so. I'll be the one to decide that. So, what's this? Looks like a mess. Ugh, gross. But this is pretty good. I really like the taste of this. It's pretty normal, but the dough's good. There's just not enough fillings. Let's check out this third option. Whoa, check out that crust, I like it. This smells so good. Just from the first impressions alone, it's divine. This is the best thing I've ever tried. Congratulations. Hooray, just like my dish. I don't understand why we need so many fruits and vegetables. It's simple, Ted. You need to make a smoothie. Go ahead and use everything on the table. I'm sure I'll make the best smoothie. We'll see about that. I've already won this. Time to repeat my success. I'll need all the sweets here. Just can't resist them, you'll see. Chocolate bars, gummies, candy. What could be better? Now I need to add in some soda. This is gonna be a sweet explosion. Hey, where's the button? Time to whip this up nice and good. Let's go. I'm not sure it's safe to eat that many sweets. On the other hand, if you cook with vegetables, it can be really healthy. To do this, I'm gonna need these vegetables. As many vegetables as possible. This onion smells so good, just lovely. Wow, and the cucumbers are crunchy. Oh, I almost forgot about the tomatoes. They add a little sweetness. Now put everything in the blender and blend it up really good. And finally add some greens. My healthy smoothie's almost ready. Just no. one sip and Jess is gonna feel right as rain. You'll see. How gross. Yeah. I'm afraid to imagine what that drink's gonna taste like. I feel bad for Jess. I'll make her something delicious. I'll take this watermelon. That's a good base for anything. Now I'll cut off the top and put it in a blender. Now we turn the power on high. Then I'll use the watermelon as a bowl. I'll scoop some kiwis into there and some other fruits. Now I'll add a little bit of coconut milk. This is great. Now I'll put in a straw so you can try it. Do you like it? Jess, we're all set. Time to make your choice. Give me your smoothies. Wow, they're all so different. They don't look alike at all. I wonder what's here. It doesn't look very good. I even say it looks disgusting. Ugh, it's too sweet. I don't like it. And that slush scares me. It doesn't look like a very good color. I'm scared to even try it. Oh, I almost threw up. This last smoothie looks pretty cute, especially compared to the rest of them. I'll take a closer look. Wow, my name's written on it. That's so cute. And the taste didn't disappoint me. Great. Whoever made this drink won. I want more. It was me again. Wow. What are these, just blank cakes? You're not very bright, Teddy. 
But you are right this time. I want a cake. A cake is a piece of cake. This is my signature recipe. Jess is gonna love it. First, I need to make the frosting. I'll break some eggs and leave just the whites. We don't need the yolks yet. Now we're gonna whip it up into a nice foam. And we'll add some sugar to make it sweet. Time to kick up the heat. Now I'll show you how to work with a whisk. Now the whites are all whipped up, just like I said. The cream's totally ready. Time to cover up this cake. It fits perfect. It came out a little crooked, but it's still cute. Now I'll cover the top with cream. Otherwise it won't look finished. Oh, it's so lovely. I'll add some sprinkles. And some fragrant strawberries just from the garden. Wow, Grandma, that's not bad. It's not for you, Ted. Okay, okay. I'd better finish my own cake. Some gummy bears and chocolate sauce. That's the perfect combination. And I've already tried that before. I won with it before. It should help me now. I'll cover the top with another cake. And then I'll pour on some berry sauce. I think this is coming out great. These little chocolate candies will fill in the rest. <laughs> Kate's doing something weird again. <laughs> Laugh however much you want. Let's see what you'll be laughing at when I finish my dessert. First, I need to make the caramel. I'll show you a really quick trick. I promise you'll be amazed. I'll pour caramel all over this balloon, and then I'll deflate it. And now I cut. Voila! We've got an edible dessert bowl. How do you like that? Not so funny anymore. Now I'll take the sponge cakes and some whipped cream. It may look simple, but it's really tasty. Look at how tasty that cream flows. I have to stop myself from trying it. Now let's add some strawberry toppings. That's it, all done. Wow, that's really great, Kate. We'll see who wins. Wow. So many cakes. My eyes are racing. I was dreaming of this from the very beginning. Let's try this small one first. It's so cute. You know, I think there's too much cream here. I take it back, it's perfect. I wonder what this big cake tastes like compared to the small one. Ooh, I know, this is Grammy style. Oops, I think I took too big of a bite, but it was totally worth it. Yummy. I got no words. I want to put this in my mouth right now. All right, I need to make my way to the last cake. He's been waiting for me. The candy on top, original. Wow. This tastes so good, it's so tasty. I don't know which to choose. Each cake is so good. But I think I like Grandma's cake the most. I knew it! Thank you, my girl! Congrats! What is she drawing there, I wonder? I want a burger! A burger? But it's not very healthy. A burger? Okay, the challenge is accepted. A burger? Great! We take a patty! That's it, we'll do it quickly. And of course some tomatoes. Let's first cut it. Mm, the knife was weird. Oh, it didn't work out very nice. Okay, let's put tomatoes on a bun. And now some cheese. I'll do without a knife. That's how clever I am. Great. Oh! My patties are burning! Oh, how painful! Yeah, the gloves were definitely not extra. Now let's put the patty on the bun. Oh, it's a little burnt, but okay. And now we need to put on another bun on top. Oh, oh my hands! A bun? A patty? No way, I'll do without it. An apple is what my granddaughter needs. And another useful fruit. Banana. Well, how without kiwi and delicious strawberries? Now we'll hold everything neatly. And we'll get a super nutritious fruit burger. It looks great. The chef is starting to cook. I'll make the best burger in the world. 
All the ingredients are in place. And it smells so good. First, some onion. Then cheese and a patty. And some salad. And some more cheese and carrots. And don't forget about the pepperoni. Voila, server burger is done. Mine is still better. Bon appetit, sis. Oh, finally! Now I'll choose the best burger. Um, this one looks just awful. I definitely won't eat this. And this one looks interesting. Mm, let's try it. Mm, not bad. I love fruits, but it's not really a burger. <gasps> what a cool burger! And it's so big! Mmm, it tastes even better! This one, I choose this one! I knew I would win. Not gonna lie. Oh, big deal. Oh, my hands! This time, I want laminate! Laminate! It's easy. Whatever. Let's get started. I'll start with decorating the glass. Let's add some sugar. Now we're taking a beautiful glass and dipping it in some honey, just so everything sticks perfectly. Okay. Looks perfect. And now, let's work a little with ice. I love it. It's so relaxing. First class ice is ready. Carefully pour it into a glass. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, those kids. They don't even know what lemonade is. Huh. I'm gonna tell you how to do it. Squeeze the juice into the water. Mm, perfect. Now let's taste it. Oh, it's so sour! We need to urgently add some sugar. And we need to eat some sugar as well. Oh, that's a lot better. Mm, is that enough? Oh, no. Perhaps some more. Oh, what should I do? Hmm, an idea! We'll throw chocolates into the blender. We'll add some M&Ms and chocolate balls. Some delicious ice cream next. And then let's add some milk. Now let's mix everything. Let's pour out what happened. And the last touch is a straw. Check it out, Grandma! <laughs> boy, my dear boy, look. This is a real lemonade. Is that real lemonade you have? Okay, the final touch are some berries. And don't forget about strawberries. Fill it in there. And let's mix everything up. I'm now gonna add blueberries here. And now we're almost ready. Adding the first layer to the glass. And the second one on top. Let's add a straw and it's done. Bon appetit. Mmm, I think I'll start with this one. Mmm, how beautiful. Mmm, and very, very yummy. Hmm, what do we have here? Mmm, it's just like water and lemons. No, definitely not! And what is this? Um, is this lemonade? Okay, I'll try it. Wow! How delicious it is! I definitely choose this cocktail! Yeah! I won! Hooray! Well done, baby. Um, Grandma? What's there? I want chips. 
Um, chips, seriously? I know what to do. Mm, let's take this thing and peel out the potato. Great. Just what I need. <laughs> I'll do something better with a knife. Watch and learn. That is how it should be. Um, look how many potatoes I have. Um, what should I do? All right, I'll try it. We just need to peel out the potato. Great! Looks like a chip. Oh, my poor guy. You should have seen how I did it. Perfect. Now we need to lay it out. And let's put it in the oven. How pleased she looks. Oh, whatever. The victory will still be mine. Let's go. Put the potatoes in a blender. Add some milk. And let's mix it up. Then put it in some molds. And let's fry it. While my potatoes are frying, I'm gonna cut up the avocado. Let's take out the seed and use our avocados. We're going to put it in blender as well. Add some salt and some pepper. And mix it up as well. Voila! Time to pour it out and our guacamole sauce is ready. What a smell! My perfect chips are almost ready. It remains to add the onion. And are you going to win with these chips? It's funny. Nothing better than some onion. Ugh, I figured out what to do with my potatoes. I'll put them in a toaster. They'll cook pretty fast. <laughs> Grandma, I'm a genius. Ah, it's on fire! Oh no! They're completely black! Mm, okay, old do. Um, yeah, that's horrible. My perfect potato chips are done. And the sauce is in the middle. Oh, again, she came up with something tricky. Kate, choose. Hmm, let's see what do we have. Mm, looks good. Yeah. And here? Also pretty cute. Um, what is this black horror? Those black burn scary things! Aw, uh, horrible! I don't want to eat them. Let's try these potatoes. Mmm, so good! I like it. And what do we have here? Mmm, something unusual and some sauce. Wow! Wow! Very interesting! Yummy! I chose this one! Yes. As I've said, I won.